my name is Crystal Lisa. Thank you for dropping by. Be sure to subscribe for more great content. Today's video I am so excited to shoot. My friend has literally been singing to me that we need to go to Kamkunji for the longest time and I've kind of just been like, ah, we'll figure it out. We'll do it. Like in my mind, it was sort of like a Gikomba area where you go and you're like prepared to be like worked the whole day to like look for your stuff, you know, but I was really pleasantly surprised. It's actually like buildings and you're wading through buildings. It's more of a Du Bois situation versus Gikomba. So take that as you will. But I do have a bit of a haul from there and I, I tried not to go nuts. Like I really did try to like stick to a budget, barely buy anything I didn't want. And the thing is the things that I wanted are a little bit more pricey. So I ended up spending way more than I intended. But at the same time, I've spent a lot less on these things than I would have if I'd bought them like online or like in these stores in like the CBD or whatever. So I'm so excited to show you. Um, yeah, so if you want to see what I got in my first ever Kamkunji visit, then just keep watching. I do not have like vlog footage of my time there just because it was a very new place to me and I didn't want to risk like my phone being snatched or anything like that. And we were warned that there are a lot of thieves. So these people that walk up to you and they're like, let me help you carry your bags. They can just pick them and like run away <laughs> with all your stuff. So it's not even worth it. But I got four things that I'm obsessed with and then a bunch of little other things that I'll tell you about. So I'm going to start with the ones that I'm most excited about, the ones that I'm most obsessed with, and then we can proceed from there. So number one is this green lovely thing that you're seeing behind me i don't even know how i'm going to show you this whole thing in this video i think i might have to go outside and really stretch this out but i'm just going to open it up and show you what it is we're working with how cool is this and you can't even see like the whole thing it's quite long and very very wide it literally opens up into infinity so i am so excited to actually own this i paid 1100 shillings for this that's kind of a steal especially when it's something that can act as a gate it can act as like wall decoration it can act as so many different things like i am obsessed with this this is fake plants and I actually did want to ship in like the plant part of this and then like create sort of a wreath with it on a wall or something Thing. so i was so excited when i found this and yes it is a bit of a hassle to like walk around um kamkunji with but it was definitely worth it i'm glad i like struggled on and i got this to my house so yeah this was he started at 1200 and technically i should have bought it at a thousand but i decided to just like stop over negotiating because I, I i know that this is definitely worth the price so 1100 shillings for this that stretches in like whichever direction you wanted to go in amazing so yeah i'm really really excited about this and <laughs> funny story i followed him on instagram and then completely forgot the name of the store on instagram so if i remember that i will put it down in the description hopefully it comes back to me very soon but um yeah this second thing i am obsessed with in my last video like my last haul i mentioned the store where i bought the fur rug thing that is on my dresser and that was 1800 which is such a good price but their throws and like their blankets and whatever the one i really want the one my soul is like desperate for is like 6500 which is a lot of money especially to spend on like a blankety throw type of situation and the more affordable ones are about 4500 so i've been like thinking about which month i just want to like close my eyes and splurge and i get a couple maybe one maybe two i don't know but um then i went to kamkunji and i got this i don't know if you can actually see i think the color balance is perfect because you're actually seeing the true color of this it's like a grayish almost whitish type of blanket and it's gigantic literally i'm just gonna do this so you can see the full width of it. It fits my five by six bed absolutely perfectly and it's super warm, super cozy. I love this. It doesn't shed too much, so I'm not too worried about like the fluff getting into my nostrils and like making me sick. I got this for 2000 shillings. This is bigger than the 4,500 throws from Smart Lady Home and I am obsessed. It is so cozy. It's literally a dream. It's this is direct competition for the 6500 one that I wanted. I might still pick up the ones for 4500 just because they are more graphic and 
beautiful perfection but this is really fluffy really cozy really soft and i am obsessed and the fact that i only got it for 1900 shillings blows my mind and it, it was 2000 shillings but i complained enough that they took off 100 usually they're already selling at wholesale prices so they're very difficult to like negotiate with even with this tree thing when we were talking to the guy he was like you guys haven't been here before yeah because no one here negotiates we just like give them a price and they take it you know so we were complaining and complaining because we are adam's toy people so you have to negotiate there and yeah they went down by 100 shillings and i'm obsessed and i feel like it's really interesting like it's not just fluff it kind of looks like there's a bit of a pattern to it a bit of a design and i i just i mean i can't sing its praises enough i've been getting a cold literally every other week since i've moved to this place because it's quite cold when the sun doesn't show up it's actually quite freaking cold here and um since i've started using this i'm definitely seeing a reduction in that so i am obsessed cannot sing its praises enough unfortunately i can't even tell you where the store that i got these things are because we're just wandering through like wading through different buildings going upstairs going downstairs and whatever so i can't remember the exact location but just in kamkunji if you just walk around like take your time <laughs> go and you have enough time to literally walk the streets and enough money because you'll want to buy everything and you will find amazing things like this okay that's number two number three is something that i can't actually believe i bought i feel like such a cliche but it's a youtube pillow and it's red and it has a logo like done right so i just wanted to get this i do have this sitting on my rocking chair and i feel like it does look pretty cool over there so um yeah no regrets i do i mean it's 200 for the cover 200 for the inner pillow and i do have my own pillow so i was thinking like i can just buy the cover and like put it on them but then i decided that i like the way this feels it's very cushiony very soft very spongy very huggable and i'm not ready to vouch for my personal pillows quite like that so i was like might as well just close my eyes and get this still can't believe i bought a pillow because i'm not really a throw pillow type of person but i feel like it's it's cliche enough that it works for me so it's fine i like it was just 400 shillings it's fine i like it the next thing i am so excited about is already like literally in use in my kitchen i finally got a dish rack i have been singing about wanting to get like the three tier metal whatever dish racks for literally like two years now and every other day i see it on facebook for like 3500 shillings so i just wanted to give like a psa here i will insert a video or image or something of what it looks like right now um ignore the rest of my kitchen i still need to work on that section but I am obsessed with this dish rack. I've been seeing it on Facebook for 3,500 shillings. I bought mine at 2,400 shillings. They started at 2,500, complained, complained, complained until he was like, fine, just take it, take it, take it off my hands. Just 2,400 is fine, you know? So 2,400 shillings for a three tier dish rack. When I see shops on Facebook and like physical stores, I think like Organized Planet or something, they sell the two tier one for 2,500. So be warned, 2,400 for the three tier one in Kamkunji. I am obsessed. <laughs> um, another thing that I will oh, I will give a shout out to if I ever remember their name. The place where I bought this um plant thingy is the same place where I bought this pillow thingy, and he did have those um house of leather plants, but like big ones. So the exact same like design and construction, but it's a little bit taller. And it looks a bit more like a tree, not necessarily a tall tree, but a bit more like a tree. And he was only selling them for a thousand shillings. I already have two, so I didn't want to get another one just for the sake of having another one. So I didn't pick that up. But I think that's definitely worth looking into, especially if you're in Kamkunji. It's when you're standing on his balcony, you can see the police station. So I don't know if that is helpful to you, but maybe you can figure out your own directions from there. But he's on the third floor, I believe, and you can see the police station from his balcony. Oh, the other things I bought are very like home oriented like it's it's not interesting stuff it's like containers i got amazing containers there were three of these like stacked inside each other and there were only 250 shillings so if you're looking for containers go to kamkunji they have great deals but also like kafwar and game and whatever they have those other round containers that i really like so either one is a really good deal so i wouldn't necessarily go to kamkunji just for containers but if you're walking around and getting all this other stuff this is really good quality material container so 
might as well pick it up you know i also got a baking tin because as i've mentioned on instagram if you follow me there i do want to incorporate a bit more food stuff on this channel so i got this to like make lasagna and experiment with things with my little oven so i'm really excited about that this was only 500 shillings i don't know if that's expensive or not but i assume it's a bit cheaper i also saw like a non-stick pan the giant one the giant frying one for 1200 shillings those ones are usually seen in supermarkets for like 2200 or 3200 shillings so 1200 shillings for the giant non-stick frying pan is amazing didn't pick it up because i was not on my list it was not on my budget it's something i need to sleep on a bit more just because it's not a necessary part of my life but i am really excited to like go back for it the next time i go to kamkunji also i will mention a little detour quick tip when you're going to kamkunji because the initial plan was just to drive there with my friend but i kind of didn't really want to risk like leaving my car somewhere and then like coming back and it's completely stripped so what i decided to do is that we would park in town and then take an uber like a uber uber okay we ended up taking uber x because it was cheaper but like those little ubers you can take one to kamkunji and it's just 200 shillings so you take one there and then you take one back and then you like go home however it is you're going home so when you have a lot of luggage you don't actually have to drive there in order to like accommodate for all that luggage you can just like take an uber and it's 200 shillings from town so that's really not terrible i'm sure the border border one is even cheaper so Quick tip. Another thing that I got from Kamkunji that I am obsessed with are these mikos. I mean, this is just a basic, ordinary miko. And there are places that sell them in Kamkunji for 200 shillings. These are 100 bob if you go to those guys on the road. But I really love these ones, like the scooping ones for like picking up soup. And like I find it so much easier to cook with these ones than the flat ones. So I wanted to let you know about them. 100 shillings, 100 shillings. Absolutely love them. Oh, also like little things. Like when I say house things, I mean literally little house things. So I got a new flask and apparently it's like the good quality ones because the guy was telling me that these are the ones that like our parents and grandparents used to use, not these new ones in the market. And I checked in supermarkets because I really wanted to get a bigger one. The cheapest one I found was a thousand shillings. I got this for 400 shillings. So that is a huge huge saving six whole hundred shilling savings of of my money my hard-earned money so yeah definitely excited about that if you're a tea person you understand um i also picked up a dozen hangers these go for like six eight hundred shillings in game which is a bit of a joke for a dozen of them whereas i picked this up for 140 shillings that is literally what 12 bob a little bit over 12 bob per hanger that is amazing i even went on olx and found this guy that i thought was super cheap but he was selling them at 40 bob each which now that i'm thinking about it doesn't really make sense if i can get them for 10 bob each 10 bob 12 bob whatever so yeah definitely if you're looking for hangers definitely go to kamkunji 140 shillings for a dozen what i was saying before before i got derailed is that i am doing like more homey stuff now that i'm done with like my favorite part of the kamkunji haul situation so i thought i might as well just do a house update while we're at it because i mentioned in my house to a video that i was getting a skylight and my landlord came through literally the next week so i have been enjoying the skylight and like teasing about it and like mentioning it a little bit here and there so today i am finally going to show it to you it is so perfect it lets in actual sun like i actually get warmed by the sun in my living room and it's it's amazing it just it hits my couch just right so at different times of the day the sun is in different sections of it and i'm just i'm kind of amazed i'm so grateful i'm literally just incredibly grateful not even that my landlord watches his videos but i'm just i'm just grateful god is really good you know so um he did put three boxes so like three different sources of light so my living area is no longer feeling like a dungeon i am obsessed cannot tell you enough how incredible this is and mind you it's just like putting transparent um roofing on the outside and then leaving this part open and it's just it's made such a huge difference so that is my house update also i got a microwave which i'm really excited about and i know this is a news for like a lot of people but for me in my house like my mom had this thing with like the microwaves and like um causing cancer and like a bit a bit yeah so i also would like avoid microwaves if i could but now that i have one in my house i am kind of floored by how many things i can do with it and i'm so excited because now i can actually bring you like cooking content and like have different dishes and like meal prep and whatever you know so i'm really really excited i actually just made cake for the first time yesterday i have my third empty cup of mug cake here because apparently you can put cake mix and water in a mug and like leave it in the microwave for one minute and you have cake and that's kind of blowing my mind so yeah if i start ballooning up on this channel like that's <laughs> that's why oh also i got a dozen sieves like 
jungis for 80 shillings so if you're like me and you're constantly picking them up like literally i have this anxiety about not having any clean ones so i'm always stocking up and then like as soon as i get old i throw them out or whatever so if you have that anxiety you can buy a dozen for 80 shillings okay so i think i'm gonna end this video here before it gets too rambly i'm still not showing you the rest of my house just because i'm working on that section so now when i get the shelving done and i have a bit more custom work done to this house i will be bringing that as my official like house update so today is just like a bit of a combination i asked on instagram if people wanted to wait for the second house tour for the kamkunji hall or if you just wanted a kamkunji hall all together and y'all decided y'all wanted to see the things i got so these are the things i got some of them are incredibly interesting incredibly beautiful and some of them are just like regular regular house stuff so yeah basically that's that's all i have today thank you so much for watching thanks for dropping by thumbs up if you enjoyed it let me know in the comments below what you think what you think i should look for the next time i go if you actually want to see a vlog of my kamkunji journey because apparently there's a place to get shoes at 1800 shillings that are amazing all these instagram stores you see with like 5000 bob shoes 1800 shillings is how much you get them over there so yeah if you want to see a part two of like a kamkunji visit let me know and i will be happy to bring that to you i'm just going to end this video here thanks for watching subscribe and i will see you in my next one